All right, I have the Exide Marathon Max. It's an AGM battery, part number MX78. And uh, this thing started to uh, just mysteriously go dead on me. I was trying to find out how to draw on the vehicle, but I've been through this before with these types of batteries. It's an AGM battery. It's supposed to be a sealed battery, maintenance-free. Um, just following along with other YouTube users. And sometimes when you find out that um, the batteries go, are they really going, or is the water, or the uh, acid solution just evaporating away through the, the charging of the battery while it's on the car. So this cell is empty. Uh, I was able to pop these off. They are threaded, but I was unsuccessful in trying to thread them off, but a little bit of a wall here, and you can pop this up. like this I can get in there and then I'll take each one of these off and I won't have had that they're all low and that certainly will affect the battery's functionality so as you can see there is no battery acid in there so I'm gonna take a moment and pop all these off and I will refill them back with distilled water That one's dry, that one's dry. Two left to go. And there's the fifth and the sixth opening. Down to the last two. Gonna put the caps back on. <clears throat> like I said, they are threaded, but I couldn't unthread them, so I just popped them out. I'll probably have to grab a pair of needle nose and turn these back on, tighten them down. So I'm just put the needle nose in there and just gonna give it a twist and push it down. It's a little hard with one hand, but that's uh, what I had to do to the others too. So I'll twist and turn and it'll pop back into place. Down to the last one. It doesn't look pretty, but it is what it is. All right, well the battery caps are back in place. Um, so why am I messing with this battery? Well. I didn't get the battery very long ago and I can't find the receipt. It's 240 bucks for another battery, same brand. Some of the other ones, uh, 300, 360 bucks. I prefer the AGM. The AGM doesn't leak like some of the other Exide batteries. Um, they always have the corroded posts and stuff like that. Although I think I um, probably popped the seals on these things, so I'm sure it's going to weep acid over time. But anyway, I'm already seeing uh, an increase in the voltage. Um, we were running about 12 volts and just with the vehicle sitting, it was just dying. I had to jump start this two mornings in a row. Um, and then as I have a constant voltmeter on this and the, it just, it just drops too easily. Um, right now it's, it was at 12.4 volts, so it's up actually higher than it was before.
So even with just turning the key on, my headlights come on automatically at night and the uh, voltage would take a tumble the way it was before. So I'm about 12 volts, 12.9 volts, but the battery doesn't need to charge. Normally you wouldn't let the alternator charge the battery up. But I'm gonna let it run for a little bit. And then in the morning, I hope uh, I won't have to jump start it again. Let's we'll see what happens.